Ladies and gents, we've got some stuff to talk about. I wanted to talk about some expectations that I might have set for 3.3 that I really hope are met. Now, for actual Genshin Impact 3.3, of course, there are the main characters from the banner that are probably going to have something to do with what is going to happen in 3.3. Mainly, I'm talking about Faruzan as well as Karamush. Now, I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do with it, which is the fun part. And I'm kind of also in defense about how they go about it. Obviously, we're going to have some sort of story quest that has to do with Scaramouche and how he ended up having Nanimo Vision or something along those lines. At least I hope we get some sort of answer or clarity there. What I do hope is for an Archon quest. I know we just finished 3.2 we finished the sumeru of it i guess but i really hope we get some sort of insight on what's going on uh where the tore has gone something we just need a little bit more in each patch i'm not asking for too much i don't want to just be thrown into 3.3 and find a little bit extra space on the map collect a little bit more stuff oh i realized i didn't collect these spaces that is very unsettling I have a lot of work to do still uh, i do i don't just want just a new area collect some chests and that's it and then do some sort of like story quest for a character even though i am pretty excited for it and i will probably record it edit it down and then upload it to my channel so many of you guys did want the edited version of you know story quests or whatever so i'm gonna do that but also I just really hope that we get some sort of taste for what we should expect for the future because the events and stuff they're cool that's you know all right but let's be honest they're just a way to obtain some materials and that's pretty much it they're enjoyable in some sense but at this point i just want to see some cool things happening with these characters and I just cannot wait to see more of it because the way they handled 3.2 was amazing. And I, I, feel like, I feel like I'm being left just a little bit out in the middle of the open with something and nothing at the same time. I just need something to keep me going for 3.3 because there's a lot. There's a lot on the line. I just want to know that we're heading in the right direction with 3.3. Because Skarmush is such an awesome character. I want to see him, you know, more often and more Archon Quests, whatever. Um, or at least one more. Just so I can get some insight. And if not, that's okay. I guess I'll, I'll handle a, a, a story quest or whatever. Now, Farzan. Farzan is probably not going to have a quest or a story quest necessarily. Maybe a hangout would be placed for Farzan. I mean, that's usually what happens with four stars. Farzan is a five star. I don't know. It would be cool if they did have a story quest. I'm just saying, perhaps I should dial down my expectations. But nonetheless, I am excited. I do want to summon, obviously, for Skaramouche. And he's going to be on my uh, free-to-play account, not this account. This account will not have Skaramouche, unfortunately. I just really am saving for a character that I really want. For example, maybe Dia is in 3.4 or something like that, or I'll hate them, right? I mean, that's pretty cool. I want them on this account pretty badly. So I'm going to have to wait for that. Check it out then. But for now, I am waiting for those characters and I will be summoning on Skarmouche. I do have one shot at it though. If I don't get Skarmouche on my, you know, free to play account, I am going to have to summon here to try and get him because, you know, I, I got to make... I gotta make some content, you know? <laughs> I really, really like the character and I want to make videos on this character and I want to see what happens with him. Probably I'm just gonna like play with him. He's an animal character. I have to cover an animal character. It's just law. It's just law. Animal characters must be covered at all costs. I'm including Farazan here. So I, I really can't wait. I want to see what happens with it. I'm excited for the 3.3 live stream, which is. By the time I upload this video, it's probably already live and it's happening. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this. If you guys are excited as I am or nervous or maybe even uh, hopeful for what, you know, what's to come. But yeah, if the Print 3 live stream happened and if you guys are watching this video, then just let me know what you thought about it. Is it what you expected? Is it a little bit less than what you wanted or, you know, just about right? 
But yeah, at this point, <laughs> I'm, I'm down for whatever. I just need some more quests because I'm starving. <laughs> Honestly, I just can't believe that we didn't explore some, you know, really cool stuff that might be, might have been able. Honestly, if they make us go all the way back to Inazuma for this story quest, I'll actually be livid. Even though it makes a lot of sense. It probably makes the most sense if we do go back to Inazuma for Skaramusha's story quest. But if it in Sumeru, great. If it's not, I'll be I'll be kind of mad because I kind of want to stay in Sumeru. I've seen a lot of Inazuma, maybe a little bit too much. A years, a year worth of Inazuma, basically. And I <laughs> I kind of don't want that. I want to see more Sumeru, even though we've you know had it for a while now. I just want to continue. I want to see more. I want to see how it develops and see more of the map, even though that's kind of like the least thing that I'm currently excited about. All in all, uh, it's been great. I've had a blast with Sumeru. And these new characters that are going to be coming are going to be really exciting. And I'm super excited for Skyrimush, obviously. Thea, Alhaitham, going to be mad. I'm assuming they're going to be releasing four-star characters as well, like how they did with Farazan. I haven't seen her in the 3.0 livestream teaser thing. So they're probably just going to, you know, release four star characters as we're going. I'm um, not really quite sure what they're going to do with it. They're sort of going with the weird role of like specific characters for specific characters. How they did with, you know, maybe Shinha and Goru. Maybe Farazan is that way for Skaramush. Would make the most sense. And honestly, it kind of is cool. But maybe universal characters are no longer a thing of, you know, Genshin Impact. I, I don't think they want to make characters like that anymore. Uh, you know, for example, maybe like Bennett is an example. Or Xingqiu. Or any of these characters. These characters are now 5-star characters that they're going to make. Example, Yelan. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit unusual, a little bit weird. But hopefully we, we see some sort of development in the future. To be honest, it's not the worst thing in the world to have specific you know, four stars do specific things, right? Here you're going to have to designate a little more like power and a little more more time into those characters and those teams, but that's also part of the fun, and that makes it a little bit more fun to watch. I kind of feel it, you know. I kind of feel you know the whole shift into you know specific support characters doing specific things, having specific roles, and I'm okay with it. But I, I can see it being a little bit of a problem in the future where you can kind of want to mix up characters, but they're sort of, you know, so specific that it's kind of impossible to do that. It's like, you know, how Shinha is sort of super specific. You gotta have a Cryo character, Cryo DPS on the team. Uh, people mainly use her with, you know, Ayaka, but that's pretty much it. Or even Ganyu, right? So you have to have some sort of DPS character. And it's kind of unusual that that is the direction we're going in. But also at the same time, it makes sense. Characters like Shikcho are kind of really stupidly broken, no? But yeah, I did kind of go on a little bit of a rant here. So I think we need to wrap it up. But yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please consider liking this video as well, subscribing to the channel as well. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye-bye.